Thanks, Karen, and welcome to Walk the Talk. Today, my guest is Maricela Estrada. Maricela Estrada believes that being diagnosed with bipolar disorder has been a gift that has made her stronger. Maricela's mission is to reach out, share her story, and spread a message of hope. She has written a memoir of her experiences entitled Bipolar Girl, My Psychotic Self. She blogs and speaks publicly on mental health issues and the stigma associated with getting help. We're talking to Maricela today about how she has coped on the road to recovery, how she maintains wellness, and about her plans for the future. Welcome, Maricela, to Walk the Talk. Thank you, Kathleen. Thank you for having me. I know that you grew up in East L.A. and had a very hard time since you were five years old right. when you became depressed and at 14 became suicidal. Can you tell us a little bit about how you handled that? Well, I had depression since, like you said, since I was five years old. Since I was in kindergarten, I had this ongoing depression. By the time I got to, high, to middle school and high school, it just unraveled and became horrible and worse. And my, cope, my only coping strategy at the time was overdosing, so oh, no. that led to my first initial suicide attempt mm. at age 14. How did your family handle what was going on with you? They really didn't understand what was going on. They were, my mom didn't really necessarily understand depression or where this all came from. She didn't realize how bad my depression was until I overdosed. And so because that was so difficult, how, how did you finally get help and accept help? Well, it wasn't until I had my first psychotic break. And that was after, it was right after high school. I was 18 years old and I just became very delusional. I thought that I was a chosen one, that I was a prophet, I would walk around seeing, I was hyper-religious, I had the Bible, and my family became concerned, but they didn't really understand what psychosis was. My family's from a small ranch in Mexico, so they didn't really understand, so they took me to see a shaman at first, and the shaman told my family that it was psychiatric, so my brother took me to Cerritos College Hospital, and that's where I was diagnosed with bipolar with psychotic features. Tell me how um, you ha humor plays into your recovery. Oh my, that's a huge, huge part of my recovery because I've had so many delusions, embarrassing delusions in public and parking lots. And um, I just learned to laugh about it because if I just go on my whole life just embarrassed and ashamed and I feel stigmatized, like my illness is taking control of my whole life, I've learned over the years that I have to laugh about it and I have to have a good sense of humor about it. I had this very embarrassing delusion which was in front of my partner that I was with at the time. Um, we got in an argument, a little quarrel, and I started getting a lot of anxiety and then it just unraveled into this horrible delusion where I thought I was Britney Spears. I thought I was Britney Spears, Paris Hilton, and Mariah Carey all in the same day. So I was jumping around, Wow, dancing. that's a lot to handle. <laughs> I know, right? And I was jumping on the bed saying like, you can be Britney too. And it was really embarrassing. And it wasn't that long ago, it was in 2008. So it took me a long time before I was able to talk about it and laugh about it. But now that I, I reflect, I'm able to completely laugh about it. Like it's mm -hmm. hilarious. I thought I was Britney Spears. How has having bipolar disorder made you stronger? Oh, it's made me so much stronger. I don't think I would be the person that I am today if I didn't have bipolar. And I think it's a huge blessing and I just see it as a gift. In my book, I call it a gift of challenge because it challenges my life every day. I, you know, I encounter depression or mood swings or mania or delusions, but it's made me overall a better person, stronger, more resilient, more compassionate. And I think that if it wasn't for my mental illness, I wouldn't be in this field because now I want to give back and I want that's, to help people. That's excellent. Yeah. What can you tell others about seeking help when they have behavioral problems? I think that as soon as they notice something that something is wrong, especially in you know in, in their teens or if you're really young, you really need to get they really need to get help. There's so, we have so many resources and we have NAMI, we have DMH, right. we have the access line. You know, there's help. And studies have shown that the sooner you get help, the better your outcome is. Right. So it's really important to get help as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Maricela. You're an inspiration and definitely walking the talk. We look forward to your future success and you're writing a new book called Beautiful Bipolar Bisexual. Look forward to that. Now we're going back to Karen.